Hello everyone and welcome to Fabulous Phonics. I hope you're all okay. Um, we're going to go through our phonics as we usually do when we're in school. Uh, so I've got my phoneme cards ready. I hope you're ready to practice the phonemes with me. Right, I'll hold them up and it's your go first and then we'll do them together. Brilliant. I hope you had a good go at those. And did you spot the digraphs in there? Yes. Two letters, but one sound. That's right. Let's go through and I'll say the sounds with you this time. Just for mums and dads, I will do a separate video just with the phonemes on OK that you can practice anytime that you want. But this is always how we start our sessions. D. G. O. J. E. K. in particular today. Well done, everybody. Hope you're looking at my lips as well if you weren't sure to see how I was making the sound. Fantastic. Now, the next thing I want you to do is make sure you've got those phonics goggles on for me. Put them on tight because we're going to be looking really carefully to help us to read. Make sure you've made your ears really big so you're going to be able to listen with flappy phonics ears on. Brilliant. Our brain's ready to learn. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to say some words. I'm going to say some CBC words and we're going to listen to the sounds and blend them together. It's important that we can hear those sounds. So my words to listen and blend today are m et, m et, met. Next one, b et, d, b et. D, bed. And the last one, t, e, n, t, e, n, ten. Show me ten. Fantastic. Well done, because we listen carefully, don't we, to read. Let's have a look at some CBC words that we can blend and read together before we start our work on F. But it's 
is put put g et get b i g big a n an o n on n e Neck. Sick. 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 Fantastic. I hope you're joining me with that. I know it seems quick, but this is the way we do it. We're looking quickly at those sounds and blending them together. And the more we do it, the more practice we do, the better and more brilliant we get at reading. So I said today we were going to look in particular at our E phoneme. Make that E sound, nice wide mouth, E. And the sound is almost coming from the back, isn't it, of your mouth, E, E, E. And it's wonderful, of our wonderful vowels. So it sometimes comes at the beginning of words, but it's very often in the middle of words. OK, so I have some words with our E in the middle for us to read together. Let's see if we can spot them. L, E, T. L, E, T. Let. Fantastic. Oh, here's one with E at the beginning. E, and. E and end. Here's a lovely colour with e in the middle. R e d. R e d. Red, like our school uniforms. And here's one that was going to be, we're going to use in our writing a little bit today. Let's have a look. It's only got two phonemes, look. E and then a g digraph. E g. Egg. There we go. Egg. Now, I think you might need to pause the video just for a moment so that you can go and get your whiteboard and your pen. OK, because you're going to need that in a few moments. We're going to do some reading and writing together. So please go and get it now. All right. So you've got it in a moment when we need it. All right. OK, if you've got those things now, we're going to have a go at writing a couple of words together. The first word that we're going to write is met. I met my friend. I did actually meet my friend this morning. Actually, I went for a walk in the park. Met. I met her. So remember, when we're thinking about spelling those words, hearing those phonemes to write them down, then we pull those words out of our mouth. Don't we put them in, give them a good chew up. Mm -hmm. Get all those phonemes out and let's pull met from our mouth. So met. <laughs> mm, uh, I can hear three phonemes there. Can you? Mm, uh, we make it really long, don't we? Let's write that one down then as we hear each phoneme in met. Mm, uh, so mm. There's today's phoneme, e, m, e, t, t. Can you hear that strong sound at the end? Yes, it's that t, t, t. And there's our word, m, e, t. I met my friend. Fantastic. So a couple for you to have a go at now. Get those pens ready. And the first one I want you to try is bed. Bed. Put it in. Bed. B, e. B -e -d. Have a go at writing that on your board now, OK? B -e -d. Pause the video if you need to, OK, to have a moment. B -e -d. OK, everyone, if you're back, does your word look like this? B -e -d. Fantastic. Brilliant if you heard that B at the beginning. Brilliant if you heard the final phoneme D, and there's the tricky one to find in the middle F, B, E, D, bed. Can you remember the other word, one of the other words that we had a look at that just had two phonemes, but 
the second one was a diagram. Can you remember the word egg? Pop egg in. Mm -hmm. Tasty egg, isn't it? Egg. 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 Pause the video now if you need to and have a go at writing egg on your board. Okay, have a little go at writing egg on your whiteboard. Are you back with me? Hey, you are. Here we go. Egg. And if you didn't put the two goes, don't worry, you are hearing the sounds. That is fantastic. Egg. Superb. Fantastic. Now, we've been writing our words, but when we're reading in our storybooks, then we read the sentences, don't we, to find out the stories. So my sentence that I'm going to write for you today is all about a dragon, okay? And the dragon has an egg. And that is my first sentence, which will be a brilliant start to a story, wouldn't it? The dragon, the dragon, beg your pardon, the dragon has an egg. Let's listen to that sentence and count the words. The dragon had an egg. Five words in that sentence. Let's have a little go here at writing that one out then. The, one of our tricky words. Remember, we can't sound this one out. We just have to know it by looking at it. So I'm starting my sentence with a capital letter. Z. There we go. Then I'm leaving a space before, before my next word, which is dragon. Dragon. Can you hear the d, d, d sound at the beginning? Dr, a, g, drag, on, dragon. There we go. The dragon has. Leaving another space, I'm going to start on the line below. A, s, has, the dragon has an, it was an, wasn't it? A, n, has an egg, that was the last word, wasn't it? Egg, egg. And then our diagraph at the end. I'm going to pop a full stop there. The dragon has an egg. And if we wanted to say it in a really excited voice, we could put an exclamation mark at the end, couldn't we? The dragon has an egg. Wow, brilliant. So as I was writing, I did each word at a time. I left a space between them and I listened carefully for the phonemes. Now it's your turn, okay? I'm going to give you a little sentence. Your sentence has got four words in it, okay? It's got four words in your sentence. I want you to think really carefully about the phonemes as you write. Listen to the sentence first. Let's practice hearing it and saying it first. So your sentence is, it is my egg. Okay, my turn. It is my egg. Your turn. Did you say it? It is my egg. One more time, my turn. It is my egg, your turn. I think I can hear you, even though I'm quite a long way away, I can hear you saying, it is my egg. So four words, take your time on your board. Pause the video now so you can have a go hearing that sentence in your head. It is my egg. Off you go. So I'm having a go at writing that on the board now. I'm leaving the spaces in between the words. Okay. So if you're back with me now, maybe your sentence looks a little bit like this. I've got a capital I because we're right at the beginning of the sentence. It is, now my is a tricky word, isn't it? I think we might have to add that word there to our tricky word list because it is very difficult. But you know it begins with a mmm. It is my egg. And did you remember egg from when we wrote it before? Brilliant. Well done. 
I think you've worked really hard today, Sunshines. Well done for all of that hard work. If you want to practice some of the letters and such on your board now, then that's a great idea. OK, and if you want to write the sentence, it is my egg or any of the words that we've had a look at today in your book, then that would be brilliant too. You could draw a picture with it. How about drawing a dragon with an egg in your book? That would be brilliant and I'd love to see them. I, keep, I am asking uh, mums and dads if they want to take pictures of any work that you're doing to send it to me on the email. I'd love to see it. Now, have you spotted somebody in the background today? Somebody who's been watching our phonics with us? Yeah, here he is. What is he with all of those sharp teeth and a fin like this? Yeah, he's a very cheeky shark, sharky shark, my pal. And that gives you a little clue to tomorrow's phonics session. Hmm, I think we might be learning a new digraph together and it's sharky's digraph. Shh. OK, so maybe you could have a think about some shh words before we see you tomorrow. Well done for your hard work. Give yourselves a pat on the back and we'll see you tomorrow for phonics. See you later, sunshines. Bye bye.